Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I will share five must have applications exclusively for your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. Now, real quick, to grab these applications, we will be going to the Samsung Galaxy Store instead of the Google Play Store because Play Store simply does not have these applications. Hence why they are only for your Samsung smartphone. And of course, I'll show you how to get them. So let's start with app number one. By the way, before I jump into the details, if you want to know what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, uh, this is the Note 10 Plus in this case, uh, I'm going to drop a link to this case down below. It's a rugged case. It's a protective case and it's not that big. It also has beautiful kickstand so you can watch movies just like this okay just in case you ask me that question anyway i'm going to drop a link down below all right so the very first app i want to talk about is the car mode application and this application is exclusive to samsung smartphones now let me show you what it is really quickly and i'm going to show you where to get it right away so let me just go to my app drawer and search in for the car mode so i'm going to go just like that so you tap on the car mode. When you first launch it, you're going to see these two options right over here. The main feature on this screen right here is the new parking mode. So if you want to park your car, you can simply click on new parking and it's going to remember exactly where you park your car. So when you go back to your car, it's going to give you directions on Google map. You can also access your settings from here and all that good stuff. But let me first show you what the app is and where to get it right away. So when you click on driving mode, it's going to launch in three seconds. And this is designed for when you're driving your car. So you only get access to basic applications such as the maps application. If I click on this, it's going to launch Google maps and you can control the Google maps. Uh, application right from here you can go back by tapping that button you can access your music library right from here uh, if you have any musics in here okay uh, from the library you can access tracks artists albums playlists and as you can see everything is large and easy to touch because it is designed so that you can use it when you're driving now when i go back over here uh, i can go into my google play um application so i can play my music from my from my google play library so I can go back, I can go to my phone application, I can go to my message application. Now when I click on the messages or the phone, uh, it is going to allow me to use voice commands because it doesn't want you to actually uh, look at those messages while you're driving. So when you click on it, you have four unread messages. It's going to tell you that you have a bunch of unread messages and then you can, or if you tap on one of these messages, it is going to read that message for you. Verification. Okay, so that's how this one works. And if you swipe over, you have a little widgets area. Uh, from here, you can control your music. And from here, you have the weather widget. And that's absolutely fantastic. Now, when you tap on this one right here, it shows you the running apps in the background. You can tap it again to go back. When you're ready to exit the car mode, you click on this one here and you click on close. All right, and that's going to exit the car mode. Now, where to get the car mode? Uh, you go to your Samsung folder and you want to launch your Galaxy Store. Now, all you want to do is actually just go to the app drawer and on the finder search, just type in Galaxy Store, okay? So from the Galaxy Store, we get all these Samsung exclusive apps and that's where we're going to get all our apps today as well. So search for the car mode and that's it. So car mode and it comes right up. You click on it and then you go inside and you click install over here. In my case, it says open because it's already installed. So let me open that one more time really quickly. All right, and as you can see, we have a bunch of tips on the top here. And you can also click on available apps. And these are all the available applications, the audio applications you can use uh, for the car mode. And if you go over here to navigation apps, these are all the navigation apps, including Vase, that you can use in the car mode. You simply install this and it's going to pop right over here. Let me show you that real quick. Three, two, one. It's launched. It's going to show up right here. Okay. So you can download those applications. No problem. So that is the car mode designed exclusively for when you're driving your car with nice, easy to touch, uh, big buttons. All right, let's move on to the next application. Now the next application is pretty amazing. It's part of a package of applications. So what you want to do is again, you want to go to the galaxy store. All right, galaxy store. This is where we're going to be getting all our applications. Uh, these are not available on the regular Play Store. So what you want to do is you want to type uh, the good luck. All right. So you want to type in good luck. You click search. You tap on good luck. 
and you install good luck once you install the good luck you're going to open this up and the app that i want to talk about is fantastic it's known as the nav star application so when you first install good luck these all these guys are not going to be installed so you have to press the uh, button here uh, that shows the shopping icon so it's going to take you to the play store not the play store the the galaxy store and you have to install that application once you have installed that application uh, you come back to the good luck application which is right here and it's going to show up here and it's going to say install now let me tap on navstar and show you how amazing this one is so tap on navstar enable navstar and i want you guys to take a look at the bottom here the buttons have changed shape so I can pick from all these different custom uh, options and icons uh, so that my uh, navigation bar at the bottom looks different so it gets less boring. Okay, so I'm actually particularly interested in this one here. Now on top of that, you can actually create your own navigation bar with extra buttons. So I can click on new configuration. I can pick the background color. So it's gonna uh, preview it right here. I can go to button layout. I can say add a button, all right, so from here I can add the camera button, it's going to show up right there, and then let's say I want to add a notification button, it's going to show up right there, and then what I can do is I can go to icons, change all the icons as I please, you can pick any icon you want, you can customize every single icon on the top over here, so what I'm going to do right now is just show an example, so I'm going to click save, and then I'm going to go down, and it's going to show up right here, I'm going to click on it, and that's my new navigation bar. So from here, I can bring down the notifications panel just like that. That's fantastic, all right? So I can bring down this panel. I can tap it again and goes up. Or, or I can just launch the camera right from here. Absolutely fantastic. So that is going to be the Nav Star application. Now, this one only works with Samsung smartphones and nothing else. And if you ever don't want to use it, you simply turn it off and it goes right back to business. But you have full customization ability uh, for the navigation bar. So that's one application. Let's move on and talk about the next application. The next application exclusively is for your Samsung Note device. So it's useless to have it on any other smartphone, even a Samsung smartphone. If you have a Note smartphone, it's going to be amazing. So what you want to do is you want to go to Galaxy Store, all right? And again, you want to search for S Note application. Now, this is designed for your actual S Pen. So you go inside, you install that. When you open it, now this is just another way to take notes using your S Pen. But it, this is the original application Samsung had for their Note devices. Now what we have is we have the Samsung Notes application, uh, which is this one right here, which is also very good. But the S Note has additional functionalities that just makes it nice to have. So if I launch the S Note application, let me show you the couple of extra things that it has. So if I click on plus over here, uh, first and foremost, you have access to your pens over here. Uh, business as usual, you got the eraser. You can do erase by stroke, erase by touch area. Let's go for the pen over here. Uh, let's try this one. Click close so you can write amazing things as usual. And what I like with this one is you can go to the settings over here and you have options to change the background of this page. So you can go to background settings. You can go with a note style. You can go with a grid style. You can go with a to-do style. So you can click on done. Now I got a to-do note that I can actually, you know, take to-do notes on. And if, of course, if you go back there, go to background settings. You can also go to the diary option. You can create a diary, a schedule, a meeting note, and a picture diary. So if I click on this one, I can have pictures right here. I can just uh, add pictures to this and I can take notes on the side, which is absolutely great. If you click that one more time, you can also do insert. So when you do insert, it allows you to add an actual picture. So I can take any one of these pictures right here and I can put them into my S notes as you just saw and take notes right next to it. So that's the S note application that has extra functionalities uh, on top of, on top of uh, the Samsung Notes application we already have. This is just another application that is for your uh, S Pen. All right, let's move on to the next application. The next application is fantastic because it allows you to customize your notifications panel's colors. So again, what I want you to do is I want you guys to download Good Luck. I think you already got that. So go into Good Luck, and this time I want you guys to install Quick Star. So tap on the shopping icon. It's gonna take you to the store install quick star okay once you're done with it go back to good luck and launch quick star just by tapping on it when you enable this 
Now you can do is tap on these things right here, click apply, and now I have custom notifications panels and quick toggle panels. So you can have all these various items right over here, which is absolutely fantastic, all right? Now you have more if you swipe over, and also you can click on plus and create your own custom colored icon as you please. So now I, got, I picked a green theme and I can come here and I can change every single color. So when the toggle is turned on, it's gonna be dark green. When the toggle is off, it's gonna be light green. Uh, the background color is very light green. So you can modify all these things. Let me just show you. So you can modify everything and then you can click apply. And it's gonna show up on the top right here. This doesn't look too good, but this you're gonna be playing with this yourself. And then you have all these options that you can modify, you can tell, and of course you can always turn this off, no problem. All right, now let's move on to the final application. Final app is a voice recorder app, and it's one of the best voice recorder apps you can get because it is free, so it has no ads. So again, go to the Galaxy Store, all right, and then type in simply voice recorder. You are gonna get a bunch of options. I'm gonna show you which one to get. So you wanna get the one that is made by Samsung on the top and simply install it. Once you install this, you click open, boom, you've got a voice recorder. Now what I like about this voice recorder is it's got three options on the top. First one is just standard, so you can start recording right away. It's going to record, it's gonna show you the uh, voice levels right here. You can pause, play, save, all that good stuff. And then you can also categorize everything that you save, okay? You can create categories, save everything underneath, whatever. But uh, what I like is if you're doing an interview, you can go for the interview style voice recorder. So the phone has a microphone on the top and the bottom. So when you're doing an interview, the person sitting on this side is going to actually only use one microphone on this side to pick their voice. And the person sitting on the other side is gonna pick, uh, use this microphone on the top uh, to pick up their voice. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me just record and talk. I am on this side, obviously, so take a look at that. As I'm talking, only this side is uh, getting picked up. If I make some noise on this side, as you can see, it is going to be picking up from here. So if I was talking from the other side, you'll see all these voice levels go up and down. So that's great for interviews, okay? And you can save them in any category that you want. And finally, you have a speech to text function. So you talk, you record, and the entire thing gets converted to actual text. So let me show an example. Click agree, click record. Hello, how are you? How are you doing today? So that is absolutely fantastic. It gets saved as an actual memo. So you tap on it, Hello. pause, and look at that. Beautiful, all right? So that was the last application I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos as well. And for now, have a fantastic day, guys. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.